Do you remember what it actually felt like when you were heavily in debt? And if you can also tell me an idea of how much you were in debt, see any figures you can give me, that would be great. Oh yeah, it was really, really um, horrible, really, because I would wake up in the morning and the first thing that I would think is like, what was the crisis of the debt? And there would always be some, you know, some issue, some problem, some bill that was due that I didn't have the money to pay or something, you know, electricity about to be cut off or the phone about to be cut off or whatever that I didn't have the money to. So it would be scrambling like that. It was, it was just really stressful. And uh, uh, I was, at the end, uh, a little bit more than $50,000 in debt. What was it like when the creditors were after you? Oh, that was horrible. I just hit. I was one of those people that wouldn't answer the phone, I wouldn't answer the mail, I just was like, I pretended it wasn't there, you know. And if somebody was on the phone, I got indignant, you know, like, why are you bothering me, you know, leave me alone, just like this. And, and it was just, it was, it, was, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. Did you think you'd ever be able to not only get yourself out of debt, but be prosperous again? No, no, it, because it never occurred to me like, that, like I had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> this was just an irritating thing about life. There were bills, you know, and I never really, I never really admitted or faced, you know, faced the fact. Did you feel good about yourself, or did you feel that you were a loser? Well, I, I felt, I was, I was like living in a fantasy land, so I felt great, <laughs> you know. I had no problem hopping on a plane and going someplace, or you know, going to some fancy restaurant like that. And I was, you know, my head was in the clouds. I wasn't. I wasn't in touch with, with reality. Many people, me included, I think would probably hear this story prior to knowing about debt watchers and the principles of the program and think, well, how could you possibly go from $50,000 in debt to not only paying off that, but becoming prosperous? What did you do? Tell us all who need to hear this. Well, first, the first thing was that one day I had to admit that I had a problem. That was first. And I could like really tell the truth that I really do have a problem. And, um, once I did that, then it was, okay, I have a problem now, what am I gonna do about it? And when I heard about this uh, program and the simple instructions, like this was a plan, like you follow this and you'll get out of debt, then I kind of believed it. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll try that and see what happens. And if you can speak to this, it's a very important, I haven't asked anyone else this question. How would this program, these principles, differ from all that almost spam you see all over the U.S., the U.K., telling you you can consolidate your debts, you can do this and do that? Yeah, um, because this was a program that said, you know, it's, it's, this, this is not an easy fix, that if you have a, pro have a problem, then th there is a way out. But it was, um, what appealed to me, that it was, uh, it was concise and personal. It wasn't like a quick fix, it wasn't like a scam. And all that other stuff that I'd seen just was like, you know, I'm a businessman and I know numbers, and it was like ridiculous. Like, like consolidate my loan and pay 30% interest, that's crazy. So, um, this wasn't like that. Now, you got yourself out of debt, and then you got yourself prosperous. Tell me yeah. how you went from A to Z, or from Z made to A. Because one of the, one of the things that was important was, uh, was visions, and and that's what impressed me. They they said, "What do you want to live? How do you want to live your life? What's your dream?" And and I was like, "Wow! Well, I have a dream." And they were like, "Oh, okay. So let's work on your dream." And I was like, "Wow, really?" And and that's what happened. So it was really pursuing my dream, and uh, and and that's how I got prosperous. And kind of getting out of debt was a byproduct of pursuing my dream. And that was, uh, and that's how it worked for me. Do you remember your original vision when they asked you what is your vision? Do you remember what you yeah, said? Yeah, I sure do. I said, I want a wife, kid, sailboat, uh, living in Monaco and Rolls Royce. That's what I said. And? I am. <laughs> Congratulations. That's it. But wait, are you just a special guy? Are you someone that has... No, no, this is not personal. It's not because I'm a great guy. Not I've watched people do this. And everybody has the same experience. Like, they had a dream, they were in debt, now they've got the dream, <laughs> they're out of debt. So, kind of said, yeah. And you're obviously a normal, really smart, educated guy. I used to think that people in debt were people who played the ponies and, and, and hung around New York lottery corners with stained mm. raincoats, mm. but that's not true. You are the face of no, many it, debtors. It, yeah, it's, it's everybody from, from you know, a secretary to a CEO. I mean, it just spans. All, all colors, all races, all professions, all 